Hello everyone. I'm so glad to be with you all again today for Meditation Monday. Hope you all had a nice weekend and um, experienced some relaxation, some peace, some space and opening from perhaps the, the patterns of the week. So today um, I have a meditation for you all that will be mantra based. Um, but I'd like to just say a few things beforehand to introduce it and set it up. Um, this is going to be a meditation for healing and transformation. And um, essentially, we're going to be focused on really trusting our core selves, the part of us that is connected, that really knows and understands um, these core elements that are key to us being in peace and um, other aspects as well. So thank you, Arif. It's nice to have you here with me uh, as usual. So in a lot of the great wisdom traditions, um, we tend to hear that every crisis has a creative solution. And um, also that there's a seed of op opportunity within every crisis or every hardship that one might experience in life. Um, and so we take refuge essentially in a higher consciousness during times of crisis and a higher calling. Um, we also have the opportunity to really connect in what the Buddhists call the Sangha, the sort of spiritual community, communing with the people that really resonate with you, that foster your well-being and your connectedness. Um, so sometimes I wanted to say a little bit about that because sometimes that may look like family and sometimes it may not at all look like family, um, but it's what one uh, experiences as a body of community that might actually feel like true family where you share in real love where you share in real communication where you you truly know uh, each other and have an openness around sharing and kind of the human experience and the reality of what that is um, so that's kind of a, a definition um, of what the Buddhists call Sangha community. And often there's a, the real connection is a shared vision between um, healing and, um, and bonding um, around positive things. So um, really the goal of all meditation is to be in, in touch with the source of higher intelligence. That's really at the core of all um, meditation desire. Um, and also to get in touch with the true self, of course, um, which is that source of intelligence that's contained within us as it is within every human being on the planet, that we all have the ability to connect with that within ourselves and within others. Um, that tends to be something nice to remember when we also are feeling frustrated with others. And I know during this time, people are really in close quarters and so, um, that could be something helpful for you to be reminded of or hold on to that really within each person that there is um, something very deep and pure that one is able to connect with. So perhaps someone needs that reminder today. Also, um, that this getting in touch with the higher self is really um, beyond our uh, ego state, our state of um, considerations of ourself, and that in our higher consciousness that we're really able to, um, in the peace that we are in, in the inner knowing that we're in, that it's uh, just easier to give and to receive and to be in a space of really um, acknowledging the truth of others and of ourselves. So um, we essentially are in an inner intelligence that reflects the intelligence of creation and the intelligence of um, 
our universe and the system that uh, flows and the forces that move that keep this planet beating and alive and the people that are on it. So um, the other thing that we may find from meditation is actually a deeper in tuneness also with our emotional intelligence. So we're aligning with these qualities that are really at the core of the self. So qualities like love, like creativity, um, and the qualities that really ground us. So peace, um, balance. So also um, in meditation, we may experience some element of uh, what I call sort of self-inquiry where there's an ability for us to also reflect on ourselves where we might um, again kind of take away um, a non-judgmental uh, reflection of where we're at and who we are and in that there's then the ability to focus and create more of what we actually want. So sometimes that also is a benefit of meditation and um, again just kind of grounding us into an ability to have deeper insight into oneself. Um, often for me personally I find that in the experience of stillness within that I will often receive something um, that was kind of unexpected, either a feeling or a knowing or a, an understanding of something that has to do with myself. And then, of course, occasionally that um, has repercussions on others and understanding something perhaps about a shift that I could make in relating to someone else or a quality that I need to bring more to the forefront when interacting with someone else. Um, also, we have, uh, as part of meditation, the, the potential inspiration to really move into another quality that is part of our nature, and that's that of service. And so that can look a lot of different ways for different people. Um, you know, that might look like reaching out and serving others. It may mean serving within your family. It may mean serving yourself and taking some time to really reflect on what that need is uh, so that you can simply be more aligned. And um, But there is always that um, element of when we are truly aligned that there is a quality of service that we all naturally have that uh, we want and um, so that can appear in small or big ways as I mentioned. So for today's meditation we are going to um, chant a mantra. It is Om Aim Nama and that is a mantra that will draw us deeper into our core self and those qualities that I just discussed. So feeling connected and aligned within, um, also feeling more in connection with the community at large um, and your community in particular, whatever that is. That may be a spiritual community, it may be your people, your family, it may be your tribe that are really aligned with you in heart and spirit. Um, and then also really aligning um, in tune with an element of service that is natural for each one of us. Um, but essentially, we are aligning here with our core self. So go ahead and relax where you're sitting. So nice for uh, to have other people arrive. Hi, Patty. Hi, Aurelia. Um, so we'll begin with just a couple deep breaths and we'll take three deep breaths on our own. Um, so again, you're welcome to sit where you've got some nice back support if you feel that that would be helpful. If you need a little more grounding today, perhaps you want your feet on the floor. And go ahead and close your eyes. We'll take a couple deep breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth.
and a third and final breath together. And just closing your eyes if they're not closed already. And just allow this mantra to really resonate through your mind, through your heart, through your being. Om Aim Nama. You're welcome to chant that out loud if you'd like to, or perhaps just quietly, you might hear it within. And another way to kind of experience a mantra like this is to maybe just repeat it to yourself a couple times and then to just really relax and allow your body to just embrace it, allow your breath to inhale and exhale it and really allow it to kind of create an energy in and around you so that you can just relax and sit in that and be and experience that energy. Om Aim Nama. Om Aim Nama. Om Aim Nama. Allowing this mantra to draw you in to your center. And to give you an opportunity to perhaps today learn something about the brilliance of yourself, about the truth, the light, and the wisdom within as you reside in this mantra. Om Aim Nama. Om Aim Nama. Really taking it in. If you need a bit of a focal point, perhaps using your breath to allow the expansion of you knowing yourself. Om Aim Nama. And we'll 
be here in silence for another minute or so. So really give yourself the gift of focusing, of experiencing this mantra. Drawing you into the core of who you are. Om Aim Nama. And just taking your time to draw yourself back with your breath. Noticing the influx and outflux. Noticing how you feel in your body, how you feel in your mind, in your heart. And just paying attention to being in the space that you're in, perhaps wiggling your toes or your hands to come back gently. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And welcome back, everyone. It was nice to be with you all and I thank you all for taking the time and um, if you enjoyed this meditation, give it a little thumbs up and I will be with you all again next Monday. I'm looking forward to that. Um, again, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope that your um, weekend was nice. I uh, had the pleasure of being with family this weekend because we had the one year birthday of my little niece. So um, I'm just trying to detach this to be with you guys for a second. Um, so I'll go ahead and actually post a little photo for you all. It was really so lovely to see her and I'm finding in particular that during this time it's been really nice to uh, be seen some joyful pictures and videos of children who are enjoying themselves. And so I will share something with you. That's my little niece, uh, Eden Joan. So have a wonderful week and stay centered, balanced. Uh, know that the feelings are gonna come and go and allow them to be. And just return to what we all have within, the love, the balance, and so nice to see you too, Patty. And thanks again, everyone. Have a wonderful week.